friends, in this video, I'll be talking about equality of sort. Suppose you are given an expression which is p plus root of m, and also you are given q plus root of n, and you are asked to find the condition that must be satisfied for both p plus root of m and q plus root of n to be equal. Now, the first thing you need to do is that you have to equate this sort of expression to, a, to, to each other. Show that you are going to have p plus root of m equals to q plus root of n. So those that are having, those that are rational, I'm going to pack them together, and those that are irrational, I'm going to pack them together. So now in this case, I'm going to have this word to be p equals to q, and here I'm going to have root of m equals to what? root of n. So basically, I can actually square both sides of this, so that I'm going to have m equals to what? n. So this is the condition that must be satisfied in order for, what? for this expression to, to be equal to one another. Now, suppose we are given, we are given an expression 7 plus 2 root 10, and we are asked for to find roots of this expression. Now, the first thing we need to do is that we are going to say, let the square root of 7 plus 2 root 10 equals to that's actually root of m plus root of n. Show sure that if I square both sides, if I square both sides, I'm going to have this all squared and also this all squared, right? So in this case, I'm going to have this to be 7 plus 2 root 10, right? Which is equal to this is actually root of m right plus root of n into brackets root of m plus root of n now in this case i'm going to use equality of salt method now here i'm going to have this word 7 plus 2 root 10 equals to now this multiplier this is going to give me m this multiplier this is going to give me plus root of m n right then this multiplier this is going to give me what plus root of m n and plus what n so here i'm going to have 7 plus 2 root 10 equals what m plus n plus this is 2 root m n now this expression is exactly the same thing as us as this now what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to equate them to each other now here i'm going to have this word m plus n equals what 7 which is rational and also here i'm going to have 2 root 10 equals what 2 root m n then i can simply square both sides of this equation Right? So, by square side of this equation, I'm going to have new expression, which is 4. 2 square is 4, then this is going to cancel this, then again, I'm going to have this multiply out by 10. Equals to, this also is what is 4. Then this cancel this, I'm going to have what? Mn. Then I can simply derive this out by 4, right? I can just simply derive this out by 4, right? So, this cancel this, then I'm going to have Mn equals what? This cancel this, I'm having what? 10. So, let me just call this equation 1 and this equation 2. And the next thing I'm going to do is that uh, from this equation 1, right, from equation 1, I'm having m plus n equals to what 7, right? Then here I can simply say m equals to what 7 minus n, then I'll call this equation 3, right? Then the next one, equation 2, I'm having mn equals to what 10, equation 2, right? So I can just say put equation 3 into equation 2. So if I put equation 3 into equation 2, I'm going to have this to be 7 minus n into bracket n, which is my m. I'm substituting the value of m into this expression. So, which is equal to 10. Then, here I'm going to have 7n minus n squared equals to what? That's 10. Then, basically, I'll be having n squared, right? Then, I'm, I'm going to have this to be, that's actually minus 7n plus 10 is equal to what? 0. Because if I choose to multiply everything here by minus, I'm going to have, this is going to be plus as n squared, then minus 7n then this is minus, then it's come to the side, that's what, plus 10 equals what, 0. So I'm going to solve this using quadratic equation method, or factorization method, actually. So this is actually n squared minus 7n, right, plus 10 equals what, 0. So what I'm going to use is actually 2 and 5. Then I'm going to have this word n squared minus, that's actually 2n, right, minus 5n plus 10 is equals what, 0. So now in this case, I'm going to have this to be, that's actually n into bracket n minus 2 
Then we're going to factorize the minus 5. Minus 5 into brackets n minus 2 is equal 0. Right? So now, here I can simply say n minus 5 is equal to 0 or n minus 2 is equal to what? 0. So here, n equals to 5 or n equals to what? 2. So we have two values of n. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'll just come back to this expression, which is equation 3. I'll just say at n equals to the first value of n, which is 5. Then I'm going to have m to be equal to 7 minus 5. That's equal to what? 2. Now, the second value that I have is actually at n equals to what? 2, which is this 2. Then I'm going to have m to be equal to 7 minus 2. That's actually what? 5. So, the first category, uh, the first values of m and n is actually 5,2 and also we have what? We have, that's actually, we have 5,2 and also 2,5. So, in this case, this is n and this is m. This is n and this is what m. So it shows that we have what we have the value of five minus five and two twice. Five and two twice. So we can just come back to this expression that uh, we have we say let root of what of seven plus two root ten or square equals what root of what m plus what n. So in this case, this is actually what's our m? Our m can be what can be five or two. Then we could just say plus n also. Let me just put this as what as two or square or you say twice, right? So you can now say therefore the square root the square root of 7 plus 2 root 10 is equal to what that's root of 5 right plus what root of 2 twice that's what the square root so that's it that's the square root of what of this expression so that's all about that's it about um, equality of sort so if you enjoyed this video please do it to like share subscribe and most importantly, you can you click on the notification button so that you get notified whenever I drop new video. Thanks for watching.